hey groovy guys and girls, it's time for Tips for Teens! Reading an Analog Clock What is that crazy thing? It's an analog clock. You see them in your school all the time. But how do they work? How do you tell what time it is? Your teacher can explain it to you if you have any questions. As we see, she has drawn a picture of a clock too. An analog clock is not like a digital clock. It has a face and hands. Not like that. Like this one. This clock says it's seven minutes after three. But how do I know? Well, the big numbers stand for the hours. Did you know there's actually a second set of invisible numbers on a clock? They look like this and they stand for the minutes. The long hand is called the minute hand, and it goes around once every hour. The shorter hand is called the hour hand, and it takes 12 hours to go around one time, or two times in a day, for a.m. and p.m. The third hand is skinny, and it moves very quickly. It's the second hand, and it goes around once every minute. In this picture, the clock says 2 o'clock. When the big hand is pointing straight up, that is the very start of the new hour. As the minute hand moves around the clock, the hour hand moves much more slowly and will move through the gray range within that hour. Here we see the minute hand has moved 15 minutes. And the hour hand has moved too, but only a little bit. Now the minute hand has moved 30 minutes, and the hour hand is halfway between the 2 and 3. Now the clock says it is 2.30, or half past 2. Here we see the minute hand has moved 3 quarters of the way around, or a quarter till the next hour. You can say, it's 2.45, or it's quarter till 3. As you can see, the hour hand is still in the gray range. What about now? Is it three o'clock yet? The hour hand is pointing at the three. Well, no, not quite. The minute hand is still not pointing at the twelve yet. Now it's pointing at the twelve, and it's finally three o'clock. Now a new range is set, and over the next hour, the hour hand will move from the three to the four, then from the four to the five then from the 5 to the 6, and so on, every hour. It's as simple as that. Now you know how to read an analog clock. You can teach everyone else in your school how to do it too. Of course, we all know how important 3 o'clock is. That's when it's time to go home. And the teacher is very happy too. Look at the smile on her face. And now you know how to read an analog clock.